So, the Elite Dangerous September update is out. And this is the current state of the Elite Dangerous forums. <laughs> and this is what the Elite Dangerous Reddit page looks like. Yeah, let's discuss. Okay, so Frontier Developments released the September update for Elite Dangerous, and this was supposed to do two things. One, it brings the game more into parity with the console version on the on the PS4 for buying livery items like paint jobs for your ship, bobbleheads, things like that. On the PC side, you have to go out to the website for the store, and then it goes through Steam, the Steam wallet to buy stuff. To, instead of buying points and stuff. Whereas on the PS4 version, you buy Frontier points and you buy them in, in the game store that's in the game. Well, they introduced this uh, currency called ARCs. You buy the ARCs and then you buy your livery items and, and things and, and I'll go into that on another video. Uh, probably not soon, maybe after the game is actually working again but uh <laughs> but uh you access the store in game either before you sign on to your character or 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 after and then the other thing they added is a new player experience where they have streamlined tutorials and they actually did a very good job on this down to Earth Astronomy, one of the Elite Dangerous YouTube community's most you know, well-known streamers, tried to break the tutorials. He tried to break the scripts, and it seems like they thought of everything, of every possible way that people might try to, you know, either uh, go get ahead of the tutorials or break them somehow and they figured out every possible way he, he went out of his way to try and break them and he couldn't and they're actually pretty good so they had these two things but then they break everything else and, and I literally mean everything else the list of issues that adding these two features caused it's mind-boggling. How do you break your game this badly just by adding two features? How do you accomplish this? Now, in a recent earnings report, Frontier Developments revealed that Elite Dangerous accounts for 70% of their revenue stream. 70%. It's the bulk of their company's revenue. Well, right now, the PC store side doesn't work at all. It's broken. And that's not the only thing that's busted. Mining is busted. Items that were uh, perfectly balanced where people could earn money, you know, below the threshold where a frontier would nerf it. It's well below that threshold that was actually a very good money maker. Now it's now it is a grind to massive, exponentially massive amounts because the 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 these items have been made extraordinarily rare. I mean, where you were scanning asteroids and you were getting like percentages of fifteen percent for some of these items, now they're down to four. So your you know, your grinding for these items has increased tenfold. For some of this stuff and it was already well balanced if people were having fun in fact it was one of the few things in the game that people were actually having fun with right now and that's completely busted and that's not the only thing there are ui issues some of the ui is either missing or unreadable engineering doesn't work anymore properly and if you store modules on the space station, you take them off your ship and you store them on the space station, and they are engineered, it strips the engineering off of the module. Yeah, and, and that's not 
that's not all. That's not everything. Now, those, those are the most glaring issues. There, there's tons more. A, a whole page full of issues was posted. How, how do you do that? How, how, how do you break a game that bad by adding two stuff? I'm, I'm not a software developer, but I, I've, I have studied programming and I'm best friends with someone who is a software developer his entire life. And so the, we came up with the only possibility is that this game is spaghetti code to the nth degree. I mean, Final Fantasy XIV is a little bit of spaghetti code because they even admitted that uh, the 2.0 portion of the game is serious spaghetti code because they, they wrote it so quickly. And so they're having to go back and they're having to modularize the code in order to make it easier to modify because they haven't been wanting to touch those earlier parts of the game. Well, they're going to go back and streamline the story. They're going to change things to where it's not so much of a... It's... It's not so much of what it has been where you are just going all over the place. They're, the story just takes you off of the main track and has you going all over the over the place while these other NPCs in the background are doing stuff that you should have been involved in. So they're gonna stream like that. That but and they started that with um, Shadowbringers, that, that, that whole initiative of streamlining the game and modularizing the code. But getting back to Elite Dangerous, the only way that they could have broken the game this bad by adding new stuff is if the entire game is nothing but spaghetti code. Where you change one thing somewhere, it completely blows up somewhere else. That would explain a lot of things. It would explain the reason why they are so reluctant to really do anything that the community has been asking for. Making changes. Why Frontier is so willing to allow people to use third-party tools to make up for the deficiencies in the game. Why they're allowing that. It, it, it answers a lot of what like like changing the color of your HUD. You can't do that in game. You can't do anything with the HUD except for increase or decrease the brightness. If you want to change your HUD colors, you have to go out to a third-party website that lets you you know choose what color you want for your HUD, and then download a a custom XML file that you then copy into your game folder. Oh, you overwrite the existing XML file there and it changes your HUD color. That's how you change your HUD color. They said they, they won't add that because it's too complex. And then they make all these other changes. They 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 added the the whole new Gownet interface and then and they made all sorts of other UI changes. But they won't do that. It, it explains a lot. It really does. And explains a lot of things. Going by going by Frontier's track record, where they allowed some bugs to persist for like a year or more. It's the the infamous skimmer bug. It's likely these things won't get fixed for a month or two. Now the store, they're probably gonna try and fix that fast. Right now, as of this recording, the store is busted and it's their main revenue source. They're probably still making money off the PS4 version, but but the PC side, they're not making any money at all because it just doesn't work. So they're gonna get that fixed fast. Oh, there's, there is one thing that they did fix really quickly. Uh, there was a lucrative item in the market boards that was either free or very low cost. They couldn't fix that fast enough. But they would let other stuff that's game breaking persist. So they, they would fix an item that was free that allowed people to make a whole ton of money really fast. But stuff that's game breaking, 
they just let it sit there and they're not doing anything or they're at least not saying that they're doing anything. Well, well they did say they're working on, on fixes, but I, I guarantee you with their track record, it, w it won't be until like November before we see a fix. I'll be surprised if they get it out sooner. I'll be surprised if they get it out sooner, like sometime in October. But we probably won't see a fix for this until... Actually, when these carriers come out is probably when we'll get the fix. Yeah, because they, they've got another update coming with the fleet carriers. And the fleet carriers are probably going to bring their own set of issues with them because they're going to be adding a whole new UI and all this new content and new assets and everything into the game and it's going to be broken we know it is everybody everybody knows it is and everybody's hyping these things up saying that they're going to be these great things and it's like you know we know this company they're they they are low effort developers these carriers are not going to be as great as as they're making them out to be and you know, a lot of a lot of players are depressed they have reason to be <sighs> it takes skill to fuck shit up this bad it really does I'm Mike the Zorch. See you guys next time. Help make Zorch Central great again by visiting the Gamers Bay store where you can find retro games, movies, and more. Also, check out the Gamers Bay community on MeWe. MeWe is the only social media network that takes your privacy as seriously as you do. Links are in the video description.